Right, this is a terbium. Again, lanthanide. Stored in a very old glass bottle. Handwritten label. Uh, your terbium is one of the handful of lanthanide elements which is stable in not only the plus three oxidation state but also the plus two. In fact, it is exceptionally stable in the plus two state, which is very unusual for a lanthanide. So this is a terbium, and it's a very, very old research sample, and you can see that the, the label is handwritten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we use your terbium quite a lot because uh, the plus two, plus three oxidation states, they're really easy to push compounds between both of them. Now the ytterbium, again, is a very, very low element from the bottom of the periodic table. It's very reactive and it should really be stored under an inert atmosphere of non-reactive argon. Now I think originally this sample probably was, but you can see that it's got a small cork in the top, so I think a little bit of oxygen has leaked in, a little bit of air, and it's caused the ytterbium to become very, very dark and tarnished. So there's ytterbium metal coated by a small sample of the oxide, but the ytterbium metal, again, is a very good sample. What does it look like? Ytterbium. It's, it, well, it depends on whether you're talking about the metal or as an element. Uh, often, uh, ytterbium-2 compounds are sort of yellows and oranges. Where do I get it from? Yeah. Buy it from a catalogue. <laughs> <laughs> ytterbium is uh, one of three lanthanides which was named after a Swedish town called Ytterby, which is where they were all discovered. Uh, terbium, erbium and ytterbium uh, are all derivatives of that town name. The town's done well out of it itself, hasn't it? The town's done very well out of it, yeah. Uh, have you ever been there? <laughs> no, not personally. You should go. Yeah, I should. <laughs>